So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So now we have the aftermath of the Cobrook Errol Spence fight, there's been a lot of mixed reactions to this fight after it happened, you've got a lot of people saying that Cobrook was brave. But he was just beaten by the younger, better fighter in the ring tonight. And that he was brave for fighting on for three or four rounds with an injured eye. You've got a lot of people saying that Kilbrook was overhyped and Errol Spence beat him very convincingly. And that he's a quitter. And that he should have fought on to the final bell and lost on the scorecards. Because Kilbrook would have lost tonight unless he knocked Errol Spence out. And that looked like it wasn't going to happen because in the 11th round... When the fight was eventually stopped, Kelbrook was finished. Kelbrook couldn't fight no longer. His eye was gone. He was getting beat up by Errol Spence. He was dropped in the previous round. He just had nothing left. And he would have lost on points anyway. He would have lost by a few rounds on each scorecard. Like all three judges had it to Errol Spence. And a lot of people are saying this as well. A lot of people are saying... Has Eddie Hearn ruined the career of Kell Brook? Has Eddie Hearn putting him in with Gennady Golovkin really ruined Kell Brook's career going forward? Because before the Golovkin fight, Kell Brook was seen as a very dangerous fighter and a real threat at £147. Obviously, he wasn't fighting the level of opponent he should have been fighting. And people are saying that as well. It's just that Kell Brook has stepped up now and he's not as good as people think he is but a lot of people are saying also that it's due to Eddie Hearn putting him in with Gennady Golovkin because Kell Brook was undefeated as a welterweight he was IBF champion he was bowling guys out of there even though the level of opposition wasn't the best but still nobody wanted to fight him at £147 none of the American fighters like Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia or Jesse Vargas wanted to come over for cheap like these guys wanted stupid amounts of money these guys wanted millions and millions of pounds to come over to the UK to fight Kelbrook and Eddie Hearn kind of dangled the fight to Kelbrook the Golovkin fight and a lot of people are saying that's affected Kelbrook now because of what happened in the fight like we all know the situation between Chris Eubank Jr. and Gennady Golovkin, that fight was meant to happen. Eddie Hearn was meant to get the fight for Chris Eubank Jr., who was an actual middleweight. And he had the contract sorted and everything, but they just couldn't do the negotiations. They just couldn't get through him. Chris Eubank Jr.'s father, Chris Eubank Sr., just wanted too many demands that weren't realistic. And Chris Eubank Jr. left his pen at home and he was suffering from a cramp in his hand so it affected his handwriting skills so he couldn't sign the contract <laughs> but yeah Kelbrook kind of he didn't get forced into the fight because Kelbrook is his own person he doesn't have to fight Gennady Golovkin he didn't have to do that but it was like Eddie Hearn made him an offer he couldn't refuse he was getting a lot of money for the fight it was a big opportunity like it just was too enticing for Kelbrook to turn down and now it's looking like it was a big mistake because he got beat up in the fight against Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, I mean, one or two rounds, he made it competitive, but we all know what was going to happen. We all knew that Gennady Golovkin was just too big, too strong, and he injured Kell Brook. He broke his orbital bone in his eye, and he had to have surgery. And that's what people have been saying to the build-up to this fight between him and Neville Spence. Has the eye damage affected Kell Brook psychologically is that in the back of his mind is he thinking if I'm going to get hit on the eye tonight if my eye goes fucked like in the Golovkin fight what's going to happen like a lot of people were saying that was on his mind and Kell Brook tonight boxed very well for five or six rounds I thought Kell Brook was on his way to cruise to a 12 round unanimous decision or even stop Evel Spence Jr late in the fight like the rounds were very competitive early on, but I thought Kell Brook was doing enough. He was boxing very well. He was controlling the fight from distance. But once the eye damage happened, then it was pretty much all she wrote. And is that a thing that's going to 
hinder Kelbrook's career from now on, this eye injury, because I don't even think it's the same eye. But now, because of the demons from the first fight, if any eye damage happens to Kelbrook in a fight, is he going to panic? Is he going to think, oh, it's going to be like the Golovkin fight and it's going to start to affect his performances? Because as soon as that eye went tonight, Kelbrook didn't really want to be in there. And obviously the eye was really bad in the 11th round and he just dropped a knee and just said, you know what, I'm done. And what's the next route for Kelbrook as well? That's what I'm thinking. Because he doesn't have a route now. Like he's lost his world title, he has to rebuild now. Maybe move up to £154. But will that be a good move? Because there are some really good fighters at £154. You've got guys like Jamel Charlo, Demetrius Andrade you got Miguel Cotto. That could still be a possible fight for Cole Brook. Miguel Cotto. He's fighting Kamagai. A guy called Yoshi Eero Kamagai. For the WBO light middleweight title. And if Miguel Cotto can beat Kamagai. Maybe Cole Brook could move up to £154. And face Miguel Cotto. I'm thinking that could be a possible fight. And you also you got the Amir Khan fight. But will Amir Khan... Start chundering on again how Kelbrook isn't good enough to fight him. Because I think that fight's the perfect time to happen. We don't know how long Kelbrook's going to be out of the ring. Obviously he's got an injury to his eye. And we don't know what's going to happen to Kelbrook psychologically. How quick will he want to get back in the ring. How long will it take him to get his head straight. Because we haven't had any post-fight interviews from Kelbrook or anything. Obviously he's not in the right frame of mind at the minute. He's absolutely gutted that he lost to Errol Spence Jr. You could see it in the ring and when he went back to his dressing room, like he was heartbroken to lose his world title in front of his home fans in Sheffield. He felt like he let a lot of people down. He apologised to the fans. And he's going to get a lot of backlash from this Kelbrook from fans. He's going to be called a quitter. So Kelbrook really has to rebuild. But how long will it take Kelbrook to, to rebuild? He's rebuilt in the past. After he got stabbed in Spain and his career looked like it was over, he managed to rebuild. Then he lost to Gennady Golovkin and he managed to get himself up to fight Errol Spence, made the weight again. But can he rebuild again? Because there are two possible fights here for Kel Brook going forward. The Amir Khan fight, the Miguel Cotto fight. But I don't think he'd get a fight with Miguel Cotto straight away. And Miguel Cotto has been offered to fight Kelbrook in the past and turned it down. So I doubt that Miguel Cotto would really want to step in the ring with Kelbrook, especially in the later stages of his career, because Miguel Cotto is a pretty over-the-hill fighter now. He's not the Miguel Cotto that we knew back in the day when he was fighting at like World well Weight and World well Weight. But, yeah, it's going to be a bit of time till we see Kelbrook in the ring again. I don't think we'll see Kelbrook in the ring again until late 2017 or even next year I think Kelbrook's going to be out of the ring for a while now to get his head right and just try and get his career back on track try and change stuff around maybe try and fight the demons of the eye problems and stuff like that but yeah a lot of people have having mixed reactions to this fight What's your opinion to this? Comment below in the comment section. What do you see next for Kel Brook? What do you think of the whole situation with his eye damage and stuff like that? And yeah, just comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedbox.